Hey guys, how you doing? It's the Big Fake from my first shot shooting academy. And I'm bringing a video on my everyday carry. When I make those videos, I have a layout on the table. And everybody thinks that I carry all those things at the same time. And no, I don't. What I do is put different knives, different guns to give you different options. So I decided to do a series and I'm gonna break everything in a group individually. What that means is I'm gonna show you all my knives, all my guns, and everything like that. So let me show you real quick. Starting with the Benchmade, you see all my knives here. All of these are fighting knives except this one. Okay, this is the rescue. I'm gonna talk about this in a minute. Very important for people that wanna carry knife. And look, faith, family, and freedom. Uh, good and dangerous, this company is a Christian company and I support it. So that you guys know where I'm coming from. Not everybody is looking for war and problems. This is something about self-defense. Nothing more. Okay? I started using the Benchmade knife. This is a knife used by the Navy SEALs. Okay, look how it opens. See? Um, I started carrying this knife. And what happened is, when you're doing fighting or you have to reach for your knife because you don't want to reach for your gun, the weakest point of a fixed blade is when you pull it out and you try to open it. Under stress, your hands might be sweating or something, or you're in the rain, or you got food, whatever, and you might drop the knife. And then now you have to go for your gun, and you don't really want to do that to start with. So then that's why I started carrying. Let me show you the Benchmade Mark. Palms 144-1. Read it, guys, in the Bible. You know what it's about. I'm not going to tell you. Everybody's a fan knows what it means. And this is a bench made. They make this knife also an automatic. When you press it, it opens. What they call automatic, or old, old timers like us call switch blades. Then I went to another bench made knife. And what I have here is what they call the trainer. It's good to buy a knife with a trainer. And all it is is the blade without being sharpened so that you can practice. I took a self defense class with Two Lamb. He makes his own knife for Roman tactics. And he does the same thing. Well, this one will go here. You don't take the trainer with you, just the knife. It will go here, and then anything, I pull it out, I have a fighting blade. Let me show you real quick. The front and the back, the person that designed the knife is right there, it's a Benchmade, you see the little butterfly. It has a ring. Greg Thompson is the guy's name, and you can see, uh, it was made for, for special operations. You can see it there. It says, Walshock is special operation something uh, group. And it's a bench, it's a great knife, great self-defense knife. Do it so you can hold it like this. And the reason I have it and grab it is because if I need to grab my gun, grab a fresh light, I don't have to get rid of my knife to go grab the gun. I keep it and all I do is this. I manipulate everything and I still have my knife. I wouldn't want to throw my knife to grab my gun and then have to, oh, I jam and now I can't, I, I'm trying to fix the gun, and the guy's coming at me, sees my knife, and stabs me with my own knife. Okay, well, I might have to do this to go grab my gun. And you don't want to get rid of that. That's what these loops come in for. Then, I got a little Bushcrafter knife. Let me show you this knife. Has, uh, um, the person that designed the knife is called Yasula from Estes. SE knife, sorry, USA. I'm married. I believe he's out of Alabama. And the reason I got this knife because look at the handle. A lot of these knives now, a lot of jobs don't let you have more than three inch blade. So this has a small blade, you could use this. Take it to work because in my job, I can't use a, take a big knife. Then I went to Forge Work out of Germany and had a knife made. There's a lot of great American companies that make knives too. But just to know these, these are expensive. And you see, it's more handle than blade. And that's this is a real sharp self-defense fighting knife. You probably go through a car door with this one. Then I got the same knife, go through these knives quickly, with a handle, it's the same reason. Look at the back of that knife. Look how thick that knife is. This is a fighting self-defense, you know, and if I had to drop it, I could still grab my magazine, whatever I need, and manipulate something and not get rid of the knife, which is very important in a knife fight. You don't want to give them a weapon or you hold it and uh, you're fighting and the guy can't take it. You're wrestling you. It won't, be, it won't be that easy for him to take the knife away from you. Okay? Then, this is a very interesting knife. Let me show you this knife. This is called a clinch pick. If you go to a channel called Warrior Poet Society, he makes a video with the guy that invented this knife from Shiftworks. The guy is a narc. 
okay? It was a narcotic engine, and uh, he will make drug deals and things like that. And let me show you. See, the knife is not sharpened at the bottom. It's sharpened at the top. So you don't hold this knife like that. You hold this knife like this. And this is what's called a clinch pick. You put this knife under your belt right here. It's not a knife to be carried here, here, here. And the thing was that he was a dark. So he will sit down to do a drug deal in a car. Now you have the steering wheel here, you have the guy here, the guys are ready to go arrest him, whatever. When he made the deal, the guy would jump on him. Once he see the cops or whatever and attack the guy, then the guy would just bring his little body, you know, with a person on top of you or against the wall, is what I want you to think. The guy would just, with your momentum, push forward a little bit, take out the knife, and then you start defending yourself. And you could even stab the guy and bring it up. Like I said, this is a self-defense fighting knife made by a narc for shift works. And if you go to Warwick Poise Society, John Lowe's channel, you see a video with the guy showing you how he uses this knife. Great video. Now I'm going to talk to you about another icon. You see the little gorilla right there. And you see it right there. This is an Ernie Emerson knife made by Crenshaw Knives out of Georgia. Crenshaw, Georgia. Um... Let me show you, yeah, Crenshaw's here in the USA. Let me explain this knife. This is called the Emerson Wave. Henry Emerson invented this little cut right there, you see? Not this, a lot of knives have this right here. And what this does is, I'm gonna put it in my pocket, lift up my shirt so that you can see it. You have this knife here. A lot of people don't wanna carry a big knife. They wanna carry a folding knife. Like I told you, under stress, you could drop it. When you have this knife here, you grab it like this, and I'm gonna do it in slow motion then I'm gonna do it fast. See, you bring the knife to the back, and you can't see it out of your pocket. Then when you when you pop it out, the knife is open. See? Now I'm gonna do it in my left side, and I'm gonna do it a little bit slow. You put it against the edge of the pocket, I'm gonna put it on the pocket. You don't pull the knife out like this. You can do it if you want, but the idea is to have it in your clip like this, bring it to the edge of the pant right here, see? And as you bring it out, and you open the knife, okay? It catch, this catches with the edge of the pan. So let me do it again, just put it right here, see? Any way you want, and just go, boom. And you have the knife open, ready to fight. Excellent. Now, all of these that I show you are fighting knives, self-defense knife that I carry. They're not for slicing an apple, open boxes, or things like that. That's why I carry this little 511 knife. This cute little knife. 20 bucks at 5 11 11 12 15 dollars and that's what i use for that not these knives you need these knives to stay sharpened because you're only going to use them under stress and in a fight the last thing that somebody asked me in my video that i showed them in my keychain you know too far away is this little thing right here this is called the rescue r-e-s slash q um you could buy it at amazon t uh, at amazon or you could buy it at 5 11 and what this is you pop it open. It's a little piece of plastic. You pop it open from your keychain. If you see a car accident, a person is trapped in a car, you run up to the person and you, um, first of all, you put this against, um, let me grab this bottle here. You will grab this and put it against the, 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 the glass, not the front, the side or maybe even the back. And when you press, it's a steel ball bearing that you see there. And it slingshots and it'll break the glass. There's videos on this on YouTube too. And you go like this. I'm trying to hold it at the edge. You would hold it like this, but I'm trying to hold it this so that you can hear it. And watch. Let me see if I could. No, it won't show. But that's what it does and it breaks the glass. And then you grab this here, you pop it out. And if you could see, there's a blade there. And you would just grab it like this and slice. The person's seatbelt and get them out the car. Great tool to have for a person that doesn't want to carry a knife and is, uh, you know, first aid situation when you see a car accident. Anyway, guys, this is my self defense knife collection. Uh, knife collection. Uh, the next video is coming up pretty soon. And remember, big men do have a sense of style. See you in the next video.